Today I'm going to show you how to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro. If you've ever tried to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro before, you know that unfortunately GIFs aren't supported by the software. But that changes today, because I've got two techniques that work great and will cover all of your GIFs needs. So if you're ready to learn some cool tricks, then grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get cracking. What's up guys, my name is Francois. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day. If you're new here on this channel, I make regular tutorials showing you cool editing tips and tricks. So if you want to shop on your editing skills, then definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. Also, if you do learn something cool today, please make sure to edit the like button from gray to blue, as it actually tells YouTube to recommend my videos to more and more people just like you and I. It's really easy and you don't even need to open Photoshop to do it. So with that said, let's learn how to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro. We're going to start with a new technique I've come up with last week, which I think you'll really like. Before even opening up Premiere Pro, we're going to take our phones and open Instagram. Hmm, you're intrigued, aren't you? Bear in mind that depending on when you watch this video and what phone you have, the layout of Instagram might look slightly different, but rest assured, this technique will definitely still work. I'm on a Pixel phone, so I'm just going to tap the plus icon at the top and select Story. Now, take a picture. It doesn't have to be anything breathtaking or well-framed or anything, because we won't actually use the picture which is a shame really when you see the quality of this picture. <laughs> At the top of the screen, you get a few options. Filter, link, download, sticker, brush, and text. I'm going to choose brush. Leave the brush type as it is, but change the color to green here at the bottom. I'm going to tap the screen and hold until the whole screen is filled. Bye-bye, selfie. Now I can press the tick icon at the top right corner and leave the brush tool. Here I'm back on the main menu, so to speak, where I had all my original options. I'm now going to select the stickers option and go to GIF. I hope you're ready for this because if you're not familiar with Instagram stories just yet, this is going to open a whole new world of GIFs where the grass is green and the scrolling is endless. The great thing with this tool is that you can find the latest trending GIFs or you can find specific ones based on keywords which are relevant to your needs. I want to find a GIF of SpongeBob SquarePants because, well, let's be honest with ourselves, we're all fans of SpongeBob. All I have to do is tap the search bar at the top, type in SpongeBob and press enter. You can scroll down until you find the one you prefer. I'm going to choose this one. If you want to, you can use two fingers to resize the GIF to fill up as much of the screen as possible. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to download this to my phone, tap the download icon at the top, and let it do its thing. Now Instagram has saved this story uh, on my phone as a regular video, not a GIF, so I can just press X at the top left corner and choose Discard. Now you have to transfer this video to your computer or laptop, which I know can be a tricky process sometimes. If you're an Apple user, you've got AirDrop. For Windows users, you've got AirDroid, which works pretty good too. But in my case, which might be the same for you, I'm just going to use my normal gallery, open the video and swipe up, and choose that little option that says Backup Now. That means that now my video is backed up on the cloud on my Google account, so I can just go on my laptop, go to photos.google.com and sign in, and bosh! My video is right there, waiting patiently for me to download it. Open it, click on the three dots on the top right corner, and choose Download. Once it's done, you can open up Premiere Pro and just drag and drop the video onto your timeline. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and type in Ultra Key in the search bar. Drag this effect to the video and with the video itself selected, go to the Effects Control panel. If you're not yet familiar with this effect, the way it basically works is you enter the color that you want to remove, the effect analyzes each and every frame of a video and removes the pixels that are the same or similar color. Let's use the eyedropper tool here and select the color of a green background. By default, this effect should work just fine without us having to play around with any settings. It's very important to bear in mind that if your GIF contains any green, then the ultra key effect will remove all of it. So you either have to choose a GIF that doesn't have any green or change the green to blue in the original story on Instagram. And there you go, that's my technique number one out of two to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro. Now you can just resize it and move it however you want. Now if you're still with me, let's have a look at the second technique to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro. It's really quick and I think you'll really like it, so make sure you stick until the end to check it out. For the second technique, what you have to do is go to gfi.com. I'm sure you've already heard of this website, but if you haven't, this is pretty much like an, another gold mine for GIFs. There's a training part here which you can use, otherwise there's also a search bar at the top for you to find a specific GIF similar to what we had on Instagram. Once you find the GIF that you want, right click on it and save it to your computer. Just make sure that the file extension here does say .gif and not anything else. Oh, and if you can't find the save image as option, you can right click, select open image in a new tab, and then you should be able to find the save option. Now go to Google and search for GIF to MP4 converter. 
This will return a list of the most popular online converters. I'm going to choose this one. Now, all I have to do is upload the GIF I've just downloaded. Click on Upload and then Convert. And finally, download the video just like so. Now open up Premiere Pro and just like with the previous technique, you can just drag and drop the video onto your timeline. This will work just like any other footage inside of Premiere Pro, so feel free to add as many GIFs as your heart desires. Just um, don't overdo it. So there you have it, these are my top two techniques to import GIFs inside of Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did and you did my my accent, make sure you like this video, get subscribed and hit the notification bell. Also, if you'd like to support my work and this growing channel, you can check out my merch and presets on my website. Depending on when you watch this video, I've literally just dropped some hot merch this week. So make sure you go check that out. I will have everything linked in the description below. Finally, if you're wondering what to watch next, I recommend you to watch one of these videos right here. Thanks again for watching. My name is Francois. See you in the next videos. Whee! Oh.